They are big and black and white, and they haven't been seen in Canada for about 20 years. The pandas are back. Toronto Zoo unveiled its panda exhibit today. The pair were flown in from China in March. And as Christina Stevens reports, a lot is riding on their furry shoulders. A song sung to catch the attention of Urshan, a five-year-old female giant panda. We decided to sing it so it could, maybe it might, might have turned around. Too bad it didn't work. What they saw, though, was enough to entrance. It's really amazing. It's so cute. Yeah. Urshan wasn't the only one generating excitement on the big panda debut day at the Toronto Zoo. Her intended beau, Da Mao, was showing off outside. Well, as you can see, he's a bit of a clown. Uh, nothing bothers him at all. She's, uh, she's a lot shyer. They're solitary animals, so have to live separately. And they spend almost all of their time eating bamboo and sleeping, all things the zoo is uh, hoping to teach visitors. It is rare and it is a unique opportunity to see and learn about these incredible animals. The zoo is counting on the pandas to attract plenty of attention and therefore increase revenue. The pair is also part of something much bigger, a conservation project. Giant pandas are considered endangered. There are only about 1,600 left in the wild and 300 in captivity. That means Urshan and Dan Mao have an important job. Well, hopefully we'll get some baby pandas. The zoo figures they'll be ready to try next year. Just wait for that window. It's 24 to 72 hours once a year where she would be receptive and tolerate them. And there's one more role they play, a little panda diplomacy. The reception they received when they arrived in March was worthy of the highest diplomat. And again today, top level attention. Pandas, a token of friendship from the Chinese people. And that friendship will be shared with Western Canada as well. After five years here, the pair will be headed off to Calgary for a five-year visit there. Christina Stevens, Global News, Toronto.